the industry is changing the market of photovoltaic dramatically. And basically, silicon wins the game. And what I'm doing in my research, I'm actually um, combining between the nonlinear optics and the luminescent solar concentrators. And I'm building accessories for photovoltaics. My vision is that for a given photovoltaic, I can increase its efficiency by, let's say, 20%. From 20% from 20 to 24%, it's enhancement of 20%. That would be enormous success. The main issue that limits efficiency of photovoltaics is the mismatch between the solar spectrum, which is very broad, start in the visible, and through the near IR and the IR, and the narrow spectral response of photovoltaic. For example, silicon is very efficient at a one micron wavelength. But for light that is, for wavelengths that are longer, for example, IR radiation, which is a lot of radiation from the, a lot of solar radiation is in the IR, it's what we call sub band gap emission, and that cannot be converted to electricity with uh, silicon solar cell. Also, wavelengths that are shorter, the visible wavelength that we see, are highly inefficient in conversion the energy. For example, the, the blue part of the spectrum has only 50% efficiency in its uh, conversion. Let's say that you can split blue photon into two uh, photons at lower energy, but still above the band gap of silicon, let's say near IR photons. That would give you that, if you can do it efficiently, you would double the quantum efficiency and you will um, double the amount of electrons that the solar cell can generate from that single photon. On the other hand, if you could take two photons from the IR, which are sub band and fuse them into one energetic photon that is accessible for uh, silicon, you would um, bring inefficient uh, photons into the uh, into contributing to the uh, electricity so it would be nice to contribute to look at the nonlinear optics as a toolbox for converting for matching between the broad solar spectrum and convert inefficient parts of the solar spectrum into the into a mission where solar panels are most efficient